Alright fellas, what are you doing up there? It's better. Right, so I have uh, a couple of things I've got to do today. Nothing particularly exciting, but I thought I've not really filmed a day in the life sort of vloggy style video. I don't believe I have. So I've got a couple of things I want to do today and over the weekend. I thought why not just film them and stick them up. But first, first, we've got to go down to the post office. Because apparently this uh, parcel's too big to fit through the door. So let's do that. Safety first guys, safety first. Keep a lock it up. Oh, it's starting to friggin' rain. Alright. Better she park the bleeding car. Let's go. Before they shut. Oh, oh. oh dear, this is gonna end well. So, I had a couple of packages. Shut the frig up, man! Jesus, I had a couple of packages. A couple of packages arrived. One, which we'll take a look at. From here, one that we'll take a look at. Well, it's already opened because <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, my daughter got a bit excited when she saw the package. She thought it was a present for her, so she opened it up. Oh, dick. Oh, dick. Fellas, we friggin' got it. Let's get out of here. Got a bit of a chock -a block action happening. Okay. Let's navigate, navigate, navigate. Oh. I have an idea who this is from. I think it's from the one and only Jay. Friggin' Jay. Until I get into it, I have no friggin' idea. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! No Limits Brewery, Coconut Shy IPA, 5.2%. What's this one? A oh, two! Some bottle condition, so we need to let them settle out. Frickin' right! Here's Jay, two friggin' Coconut Shy IPAs, which I'm gonna put in the fridge, and um, I need to get this leaderboard set up. I need to get this leaderboard set up. Oh, that fridge needs a clean out. Oh, that's a moldy fridge. <laughs> I said I had another package, didn't I? Okay. Uh, oh, we have a note. Oh, friggin' rats we do. Ah! Hi, Tom. Hope the bottle's arrived in one piece. As I know you are also a lover of mosaic like myself, I have included a bottle of my Red Rye Mosaic IPA. I had intended to stick religiously to your recipe, but since I started brewing, I have always done my own recipes, and this was so difficult to stick to yours. And yes, I couldn't help myself. Bit of a confession letter here, yeah? bit of a confession letter. My tweaks were Irish stout malt instead of marisotta, plus I added some carapils. However, when taking a reading before dry hopping, I didn't think the coconut was coming through too much, so I did a dry hop of 450 grams instead of 250 grams! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I look forward to seeing uh, how it ranks on the board. Cheers, mate, and thanks for sharing your recipe, Jake. I'll let you into a little, uh, a little, a little secret that's not a secret because I've already told people in videos, but. Uh, I too have upped the coconut. When I did it, I upped the coconut to... What did I up it to? I upped it anyway. <laughs> hey! We've got the Jake's Craft Brewing Coconut Not So Shy PA, and now we know why, because we've read the letter, and his Mosaic Rye IPA. My goodness, thank you very much, sir. So we have two now to go on the leaderboard for the Coconut Shy PA, and um, I need to set two with that. And uh, it's pretty damn simple, really. I need to get some little magnets, and so I can make some little laminated names. So when the 
beer starts coming in, I can stick it on with the score and uh, rank them. And that's how we're going to do it. Look at all this ramble, lads. Look at all this ramble. So I'm going to get in there, get the mould off the walls and uh, put in a friggin' shelf. I had every faith in me. Every faith. She ain't the prettiest shelf, but she'll do the job. Not three friggin' bad. Have one shelf. I'm uh, I'm sick of not having space to put stuff and that shelf up there and uh, the top of the uh, control panel just gets cluttered, which doesn't make for a productive brew day so we are uh, putting in a shelf just to put stuff on and I think down here at some point well I think that that press for now is going to go in the loft because I ain't got time this year to do a, a pressing and uh, this I'm going to come up with something else for this might put some hooks here and wrap it round and then I can just unwrap it when I need it and get rid of the bucket and free up a bit of space but I think I might uh, treat that back wall and then uh, clear this out so I can put things like the catalyst and whatnot and other fermenters when I'm not using them but there we go boys oh. mm. I'm on call hence why I've not cracked one of these uh, beers open which we've got um, and also I need to get cracking on with this leaderboard which will probably be in the next couple of veggies. Ferment. Can you remember I told you about that free magazine that they put in with the beer 52 boxes? This was the episode all about the uh, all about McKellar. It's McKellar, McKellar, McKellar. And there was somewhere along here, somewhere, there was a chap doing some homebrew. Here we go, I tagged it. Official brew, beer geek, breakfast. Um, so this is the article where him and his father brewed it up on the green father and it gives you a little rundown of of the uh, of the beer. Oatmeal stout with coffee. Volume 20 litres, boil volume 25 litres, original gravity 1074, boil gravity 1059, final gravity 1017, 7.5% ABV, um, approximately 100 plus IBUs. My goodness. Pilsner malt, flake malts, carrot amber, brown malt, pale chocolate malt, roasted barley and smoked malt. So I'm going to have a crack at this. Hops is Centennial Cascade. There's uh, a, a lot of it. A lot of it. And then fermenting it out with uh, 1056 American Ale. Might use USO5 though. And then uh, 500 millilitres of ground coffee made with 50 grams of coffee. Added a few days before bottling, or in our case, kegging. So that's the recipe that I'm going to try and get sorted out. And we're going to be doing that, hopefully, next weekend, bank holiday weekend. So that'll be a different brew day. We've gone from pails to 7.5% oatmeal stout. Mm -hmm. And that's enough tinkering about for one day. I've achieved something in here, a bit of space. So as always guys, don't forget to thumb up this video, Christian Oro. Don't forget to hit this little icon here to subscribe. Click it once it's coming up next. Share the video, get it in the fall to see you until next time. I'm out of here.